You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. You're not going to get anyone that's going to work um, any harder and be more concerned about doing the right things um, than your wife. Right, she's invested. She's I mean, she wants the kid. I mean, she right. wants to take care of stuff. She right. wants to get things. I mean, there's. I, I, she wants the stuff too. She wants. She has your back. Right. You can't pay someone else enough to have your back, guys. Mm-mm. Nope. No one has your back more than your wife. Mm-hmm. You know. So, it, it does come down to learning to trust that. Mm-hmm. And um, and I would say the vast majority, not the vast, all all of our private coaching clients who um, better other left their job, and we've got teachers, we've got nurses. Um, we've got um, executives that have left positions to come right. alongside and and be a part of the business and, and grow the plumbing business. And all of them now say, I wish I would have done it a long time ago. Right. I wish we would have done it. Um, and then also all of them said they had to burn the ships. It couldn't be, you know, kind of double minded where, well, I'll do this part time and do that part time. It had to be 100 percent in. Do you feel like you've lost your personality or lost yourself? by being in business with me of course not why that no why well i mean that's because our society we, we hear that i mean we have professional uh, women mm-hmm. you know of course we're talking you know you're your own woman you're all, but you all right, right. You, i know you know that mm-hmm. and you've created your own thing mm-hmm. not built someone else's kingdom right you, you've built your own kingdom built my own kingdom right i but and so do you feel like you lost yourself or you gained more of yourself of course gained and and right. not only um but but being married and, and how we look at marriage from a, a biblical worldview is we come together to, to build together, right? Mm-hmm. So this, I don't have a sense of, well, I need to prove myself or, you know, make a name for myself or whatever. No, we're, in this, we're, one, we're one flesh as the Bible. Or we like to say we're one. We're one flesh. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. really kills people at parties. Right. Um, but we have, we're, we're one flesh. We do everything. That's why we don't have many parties. <laughs> we don't, we don't get invited anywhere. <laughs> okay. um, so what was I say? We're one flesh. Okay. So we, we're together. I'm not looking for something that, that builds me up that isn't with you as well. And that's well, part. Well, it winds up building you up because everybody knows that knows us. Everything that knows us more intimately, you know, mm-hmm. inside, knows that we would not have been as successful. I would not, I would not, you know, I, I get kind of the quarterback. I get yes. the guy, you know, we usually kind of be out front, okay? <laughs> because I, you're, you're better out front. Well, yeah. And it is, we are, a, you know, lady, we are, it is a male society. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know we're trying to change all well, that. Well, we're and, the male you know, industry. Right. Certainly. Right. With plumbing. Um, but it's, everyone who knows us knows that we would not have been successful um, and had the other successes that we had if it weren't for you. Mm-hmm.